Has he has a slap for you, bro? Oh, yeah. Come on! <laughs> yes, boy, <laughs> man! <laughs> Hard work. 160, 192. One, 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 Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still YouTube. So today is a continuation of our previous video Which is obviously of the Street Fighter CRX So as most of you know, we, we had MSA about two weeks ago And the owner of the car, he decided after the event was to actually make a couple of changes and get his car ready for bragging rights which was Saturday pass so we literally had like I'd say less than two weeks to prepare the car for bragging rights so I want to explain to you guys a little what it is that we actually did and then obviously put in a couple of clips of what the day went like and so on unfortunately I don't have footage of the entire process of putting the car together however there is a couple of snippets here and there that I can add and then give you guys an explanation as to what it is that actually happened to the car and so on okay so obviously we installed a set of ITBs which is 70 millimeters and then we did a 16 volt setup as well electrical water pump so we are running no alternator obviously deleted the water pump as well as the alternator got a half size EK star radiator that I ended up trimming and welding it close and we did AN16 hoses and we added fuel cell literally replicated the red car apart from the engine being a 2 liter and then we ended up removing the glass and we did lexin to all the windows so that is about it as simple as it seems here uh, this this was definitely a big rush to get it done This is all for Saturday for MSA for bragging rights. So hopefully we can get the motor swapped out, cams, valve train swapped out, and then we're good to go back on the dyno, get it all dialed in. Did you want to throw it back into the box? <laughs> hey, Rodney! Are you ready? Yeah. Back in, my bro. You ready to see the piston? It's cool. Back on, go on, even focus. Yo, my friend. 
Oh, dat is Casey, die is Crack Lee. Where is you? Maar dat is Crack Lee. Oh, dat is Lego. Oh, dat is Kona, ja. Friday morning, or oh, actually afternoon. So we have a replacement K28 too. Swapped over the valve train and the cams, and that is it. And now we're gonna slap the motor back in. Luckily I'm here at R&I. Krami decided to give us a hand, help us get the car done in time. So at least we have the privilege to work on the car on the lift, which makes life much easier. Double checking everything. And then we're gonna assemble and hopefully make it to the dyno. Get this car done today, so get it ready for tomorrow morning. Hey yo, five ball. What is it? One ball. That was like 60. Yeah. MSR in the area, the car is back, new engine in, everything is all hundreds and I immediately threw the method on the car so we are about to start tuning, just charging the battery for a bit but yeah, wish me luck, hope you tomorrow is going to be a, a great day with this car, very successful hopefully It's basically Saturday morning and we're still busy. It's past 12. It's past 12, yeah. Nice day. We are running late. <laughs> we just gave the car a quick wash. We didn't even get the chance to like polish up the car and so on, but at least it looks so presentable. I think clean. And we ended up having to obviously cut the bonnet. Doesn't look that pretty as well, but they do the job. <laughs>
So that will end of today's video. I did unfortunately get only a handful of runs at the track on Saturday because it was bragging rights which is basically a bracket racing competition and we ended up being too late to be able to qualify. So my first run actually for the day was literally during lunchtime when everyone already dialed their times in and so on. So I had to basically wait up until the event ended for me to be able to do a couple of passes on the car so i finally got to see what the car was doing down the track checked the data logs and made a couple of changes to the map and eventually i got to feel also the car became more and more powerful hence us pulling off an 11.6 second run with the car and to be honest i feel like the car has so much more in it like you have no idea like how much this car is really capable of it's crazy like we can be able to pull off a 10 second pass of this car if we are able to dial the car incorrectly so that is just basically our circumstances in cape town we only have one uh, drag strip which is basically on a main circuit for road racing or circuit racing and the events are very limited it's i think if i'm not mistaken most of the time it's once a month 
but that's the problem it's it's actually it's a competition it's an it's an event but we don't really get the chance to test the cars and like figure it out and finesse the cars and then go out and be competitive but anyway that's basically what we have here at the moment in cape town and i guess we're gonna have to make do with what we have but we're still having fun i mean not only myself but a whole lot of other guys in the same industry are pulling off crazy numbers on the track we recently had the track resurfaced and this last event the organizers of the event um, race essay they always bring the best of the best prep so the guys were breaking pvs left right and center which was in my opinion very overwhelming to see because i mean we, we're all in this big game for the passion i guess um if we really are big enthusiasts of the sport it's it's a pleasant feeling to see the next person also move forward so that is how i look at it and that is my like let's say philosophy when it comes to doing this like building cars and stuff it's not to be the best and to make the next person feel inferior i um strive to try and see everyone progress and everyone becoming faster so um with that also being said like congratulations to everyone and congrats to everyone that actually managed to win in their classes for bragging rights it definitely was an awesome event if i must give my honest like criticism regarding the event kilani needs to understand an event like this has to take place over multiple days so let's say a weekend you can't really have something like this within a couple of hours qualifying dialing and then eliminations within like five or six hours is very difficult i mean i got to see first and like over the years they've been trying this bracket racing stuff and they always seem to be like battling with it but i think like i said this is my honest opinion i think it's it's because they limited to so little time so hopefully maybe things change in the future you never know but something like that should definitely take place over a weekend like one day qualifying and give um, competitors time to maybe see to their cars or repair whatever fails during that time so that when it comes to eliminations everyone is well prepared for proper racing but i mean like saturday was still like amazing like it was nice to see the guys go head to head there was a very close competition which was was um definitely nice to see but yeah anyway i'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't hesitate to comment like share and subscribe and i'll definitely see you guys real soon as most of you know like we've got a lot of cars coming out here so there's multiple projects multiple content and i'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy what's to come in the future thank you for watching.